Here's a quick shot of Darus elliptica, a vine in the uh, legume family in Fabaceae. <clears throat> and the reason I want to show this is it's a source plant for rhodanone. It's one of the uh, several plants that are used uh, for rhodanone. Uh, there are a couple others in legume in the Fabaceous family and then a few other sources. Uh, including jicama, I believe. Jicama being a subtropical, um, it's not a root vegetable, but it has that consistency, um, kind of like a turnip. Uh, I used to cook with it and make slaw with it, actually. Uh, but anyway, not to stray off course, this is, again, a source of rhodanone, which is an uh, insecticide. Uh, and it's used, I don't know if it's Omri, um, certified organic, but it's used a lot in, in organic, uh, uh, insecticide formulas. It, it, it is, I don't want to say controversial, but it is, uh, it does have some baggage with it. I, I think it can um, give people uh, bad reactions. Um, I don't know enough about rhodanone, but I know there's always a caveat attached to, to the use of rhodanone that it can be dangerous, uh, giving people um, n nerve conditions, uh, because that's basically what this does to the insect, is it kind of, it's a nerve gas for insects. So anyway, I just wanted to uh, show off Darius elliptica and its leaf form. Uh, when it was putting out this newest flush of leaves, it had a nice coppery, uh, light red tinge to it, and I don't see any new emergent leaves to show that. Um, I'm a little late in getting that, but here's Darius elliptica nonetheless.